right. Seeing that we do have a quorum present, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have Andy here as a guest, and we are recording. Uh, call the meeting of the CPA committee to order. And the first order of business on the good agenda that I got online, and I'm learning how to do that now. <laughs> Kicking and screaming, I'm being dragged into Yay! the century. Now it doesn't. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> but we do have a copy of the minutes. Now, has every does everybody have a copy of the minutes? Is there, are there any questions? Do we need uh, any uh, answer or anything to, uh, or any comments about them or anything? Or they look great. Excuse yeah. me. I said they look great. Okay. Well, I'll have a. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the minutes as presented and a second? So moved. Okay. Second. Do I have a second? Yep. You already did. Who? Amy, Amy, I think. Okay, sorry. That's like Amy's voice. Yeah. Okay, all those in favor signify by raising their hand. Okay, next on the agenda is Mary with our treasurer's report. All right, let me share this again. Actually, Good. I need to make it a little bigger. That's okay. Did they give us the ability to share? Uh, John, uh, if, uh, can you uh, give me the ability to share, please? Uh, yeah, I can figure that out. Hold on. Um, Go down to share. There should be a little arrow share screen, next to the share, the green button. Oh, I can do it. Yeah, I was going to say, I've got the option on the bottom of my screen. Oh. There you go. Great. So are you looking at the... There you go. Yep. Okay. Um, what we talked about last time yep. was putting the 45,000 set aside in each of the um, three buckets, 45,000. So the right. new balance is over here, 143,000 for open space, 68,000 for historic and 333,000 for housing. And then we keep 500,000. We're trying not to dip below without really realizing it. Um, right. An available general fund then is a million one seventy five. Yeah. And then there's four hundred eighty eight thousand reserved already for expenditures approved. Right. Um, so and here's again the um, money that's been put in so far for the half year. We still have two more tax bills coming in and maybe another state contribution as well. So it looks like it's a nice another another healthy year um, for contributions to the CPA. Good. We talked about um, putting five thousand though. I noticed Amy had said two thousand, which might be fine, and to the general fund for our committee expenses. Um, Thirteen thousand for the open space for Handrich um, could come out of open space if we decided. Yep. Grilinski is open. You know, could be fifty five hundred out of open space if we so wanted. The housing, um, the historic balance is now 68,000. So perhaps putting the North Hadley Cemetery 60,000 all in historic and then splitting Russellville Cemetery 8,000 historic and 22,000 general fund. And I really recommend in doing 8,000, not $8,052.15. I think it's just confusing for people to read that at town hall, at town meeting and it's easier to see 8,000 and 22,000, maybe, you know, the nearest hundred. Um, oops, sorry. Um, um, just, could you say, what was the issue with the 8,000? Um, the actual balance is 8,052. If we take, it's 68,052 dollars and 15 cents. So if we use 60,000 towards the first cemetery, we have $8,052.15. And instead of doing it right down to the penny, maybe, you know, rounding it to like the nearest hundred is easier for people to read. Mm -hmm. um, it's yes. $52.15 in that set aside, but that's a fluid things anyways. If, if anything gets returned to it, that changes, you know, before the next um, town meeting, so. Right, I just yeah. had a question. Do we need to wipe out the accounts? 
before we go to the general, the general fund, though? Right. That's the right. question I was going to ask. Yes. As, as far as I know, we, we have to eliminate the set asides before we go to the general general fund. In practice, that really hasn't been right down to the penny. No, um, it hasn't. Because again, you know, if anything, like say the pillar money comes back in, then that'll be 28,000 or whatever it is back in here. So it's, it's I don't know, it's, we can do this, the $8,052.15, or I just think it's easier for people at town meeting to be looking at these figures than Full numbers, yeah. down to 15 cents. <laughs> <laughs> and I see your your defense is that it's kind of a uh, it's a fluid number that it's you know any snapshot you take is arbitrary. Right. So why sure. why make it confusing? Yeah. Does uh, Andy have any thoughts on that? Oh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for clarity's sake, I think it's fine. I do too. I kind of like it. You know, it's, you're never going to get it exact. So we're always going to end up with some weird number, but if, if we, that we're just going to have to live with, the, with those numbers and it, whatever we put us in, in the set aside, if we make it out to the nearest a thousand or a hundred, that's fine. Instead of doing 10% or whatever, uh, how does there other commit? How does everybody else feel about that? That's fine. I like it the way she has it in there. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Yep. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't, um, you know, you didn't have to legally wipe it to zero. So, and so that, well, we will. We will. We will because the, the cemeteries are $60,000. So if we put the money in first, then we take out sixty thousand dollars to go towards the uh, fence and the cemetery. Right. There's going to be fifty-two dollars and fifteen cents left, right. or eight thousand fifty-two dollars and fifteen cents left. Right? Did I? No, am, just, am I looking just, at that right? No, eight thousand. Right. It'll leave a balance of fifty-two dollars and fifteen cents. Right. right. Yes. Okay, yeah. I, was, I, I was reading it right the first time I said it. So that wipes out the historic bucket. So then the Hockenham Cemetery fence would be under general fund. The emergency rental assistance would be under the housing. And then the first church clock would need to be under the general fund also, because again, there's not the money left in the house in the historic. Um, but that brings us to the 292,000, which might be a little less if we don't ask for the full 5,000. Um, or we, you know, we still have to vote these as well. So, you know, pending our vote tonight. Um, right. The outstanding projects. Um, um, just one sure. comment. It shouldn't be in the CPAC 5,000 that's coming out of the general fund. That's your office expenses? Right. Okay. Yep. Nope. That's what I was, I was just yeah. wondering. Yep. Mary, do we know how much is in the administrative fund? Yes, we do. Um, 2880, but the bill hadn't been paid yet for the dues. So I think it's about $900. Right. Okay. Balance. What are the dues that we pay? Andy. For the CPA coalition in Boston. Yes, for the state, it's our- Stewart. Yeah, for Stewart yeah. Saginaw to like, right. buy a new- Funding his yeah. office, his personnel in his office. Right, yes. Yeah, people have asked me in the past, why do we need so much money for administrative expenses? Right. So that is a question. What is his bill what usually? Thing? What, what do, do you mean? Here? Like, why is our 5,000? Right. Oh no, what's Stewart's bill? What, how much do we pay him a year? I don't remember. I thought it was 30? about 1800. It, it's 1800, something like that. Yeah. Give or take, okay. a, it might be 1823 or something like that. It, okay. it's, it's around 1800. So here's, the, here's what's outstanding. Um, and apparently the CPA committee expenses have no limit. So it just builds up and gets spent and builds up and gets spent. So right. 
right. this will be down to about a thousand after that bill is paid. Is that correct, Andy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that doesn't need to be extended because it it doesn't have a limit. Um, I'm now, not sure plain... why it doesn't go back like all the other things go back. This never goes back to the general fund. I mean, right? I don't think so. It doesn't. It's it's in the um, same article that does the set asides. So it doesn't have a limit on it. It, does, it just says it comes out of the general fund. Right. Yeah, I, which makes, the, which is okay. It's just every year we put money into it. And if we're always putting 2000 and um, or $5,000 into it, I would think it would be a higher number then. Um, Except that most of it gets spent between copies right. and the bills to the um, for mailings the and everything like that. It, do we really have big bills and mailings and copies? I'm not sure. Do I, I, I know. need to sure is a big bill, but I don't know. Do we send? I don't know if we us sending anything out. I well, don't so know. We've, we've used that um, for consultants. We've used it for um, assistance for grants, things like that, where, or not grants, but like Pioneer Valley planning. Yeah, that was a big bill. And we, we put a lot of money into it one year. It was 15,000 one year I saw. Right. Yeah. yeah. So course, if, we, if we used, you know, we had somebody come by like from UMass who wanted to help us with our files or something like that. Um, we could use that as an, an expense to pay them without going to town meeting because it's administrative. Right. So things like that, that we can use it for. Now I know we probably, is that where we took out for the banner? Yes. I believe yep. so. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, good memory. Whatever happened to that banner? It's, it's at uh, Academy now. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. You could also use it to uh, hire an attorney if you had to sue anybody <laughs> or defend yourselves if you were ever sued. Right. So how big is it that we, I mean, unless we have the, like the Pioneer Valley coming in, um, you know, something, you know, a big, a big project. Right. What do we want to do on a regular basis for that? Because in the past, when I, where I caught the two from, was only because I copied one that we did in 2019. That's what we did. Right. Um, Amy, we have the ability not to do a mandatory set aside. So if we had like 6,000 in it next year, we don't have to put any money in it. Okay. So we can just, you know, zero out any deposits that are going into it and whittle it down. We don't have to keep adding to it every year. Right. Or you could vote to put the money back in the general fund. Yeah. Right. Well, I kind of almost would like, I, I don't know, and my, my thinking is I'd like to have it, if we do it once a year, that's fine. Um, maybe we do a, uh, maybe a smaller amount or do it so that we can have it every single year. And if it's going to build up, then it'll just start to build up a little bit more and more and more. But it, the more, instead of one year not asking it for it at all, and then another year asking for a larger amount, I almost rather do it a little bit every year. It's, it's less for town meeting because they don't even, if you put something in there now, because we do it every single year, it's not going to even be questioned. It's just going to keep the meeting right. going. As soon as we go up and down, we're going to get all sorts of questions. Do you think this should be 2000 then for this year? Can you give us about 3000 in the account? Yeah, see, I, I don't see that as an issue, Amy. I don't think anyone has ever questioned us on town meeting. We've done, you know, we did 13,000 one year, you know, for Piner Valley, we did you know, 10,000 another year, 5,000. Nobody has ever, I don't remember anyone ever questioning the general fund because it's for unforeseen expenses, office expenses, things like that. I got several questions. And I assume that we carry the balance because we don't meet regularly. So that's why if a bill comes in between town meetings, you don't get stuck that you can't pay them. Right, right. right. Uh, 5,000 5, 5, isn't an increase. 
you know, Amy, what number were you thinking would be better? Well, I only, maybe we could do in between, but I got the 2000 because that's what we did. We were doing in the previous years. So I had the 2000 from 2019 annual town meeting that I was copying off of that. So yeah. I was just going through the past. If we haven't, I, I get it if we need it for big projects, but if we don't and we don't, we have just our regular bills, then I would think that would be fine. If we want to increase it by just a little bit, I would be okay. Maybe if you want to increase it just to three. Uh, I think I think I think if we increase it to three thousand dollars, we're gonna end up even after we spend our eighteen hundred for the dues, we're still gonna end up with pretty much what's in there now. Give so, or take a few a few dollars. Okay, so, I have a question. How many banners do we have? Just one? Yes. We should have more than one because when there's multiple projects going on. Every project that we fund should have a banner in front of it. Why? Because it lets people know it's kind of uh, an unspoken PR saying, this is where your dollars are going. Everybody always says, oh, all you do is spend it on farmland. Well, we don't always spend it on farmland and people need to see um, and I believe, isn't that one of the requirements, Andy? What? Do, do you remember? I, I thought that was one of the requirements that, um, or maybe it's only in specific towns. I, I don't remember. That I, I think there's supposed to be something acknowledging a project. The, the project, where the money comes from. I mean, the, any, any state project like DCR and all of that, you have to put a sign up saying this project was funded by. So why not get some PR out of this? I'm, I'm thinking we should have more than one banner and not just have one that gets passed around. The banners were not that expensive, right, Denise? Were, were they like 120 or I'm not, I don't remember exactly. I don't remember either, but I, I feel like it was like 80. Okay, yeah, we should have a couple of banners. Well, so we could get a few more. The um, other still within the 3,000. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. I just didn't know how much they were. So if they're $80, 3,000 is going to be fine. That'll cover it. We have to make sure that they, um, their size uh, is accepted by the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I did have to. It's a temporary sign. I, I had to show it to the building inspector. Board. Okay. Yeah. Before we do more banners, you know, you know, may, I get the PR part, but I can't imagine a big banner being at the cemetery or a big banner being on someone's APR or a big banner being a, you know, maybe we get something that's a more of a, 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 a post that we can put in the grass or something. Yeah. yeah. Like something like that would be fine. But, but a big banner. Mm -mm. But yeah. My thought was it to have something acknowledging that this is where CPA funds are being used. It doesn't have to be a banner. It could be a, just, you know, a sign saying restoration or, you know, one for historical restoration funded by Hadley CPA, um, farmland protected by Hadley CPA, and just put it there for, you know, for a Six little months. while. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Okay. No, I, I don't have a problem increasing the $2,000 that Amy wrote up, and she did a very good job, I must say. Yeah. Increase that to $3,000, and the mm -hmm. fund will stay pretty much the same. Yeah. And if we're going to have some signs made, we can have signs made. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how, does, how does everybody feel about that? Sounds good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, so we got to we got to give some credit where credit is due. You know, people look at this account and they see dollar signs, and you know, it's not. They don't realize. They may vote on it in town meeting, but when you drive around and you see, oh, that's where that money went from. It's not just a slush fund for everyone to pick apart. Yeah. I okay. think it's a great idea to get the different kinds of signs, like you said, for the different categories too. Oh, I mean, sorry to cut you off, Ed. No, no problem. No problem. I understand. Makes yeah. sense. 
I agree. I mean, you don't want a big banner at the cemetery, but a, a tasteful, you know, in the ground sign would be nice. Historical project or restoration funded yep. by CPA, you know, right. something like Adley CPA. Okay, so now for uh, it, it, my, what I was thinking is to put the money into the set asides first. That's the first article that uh, the town is going to vote on for a CPA. Do we want to put 45 in each of the other set, set asides and $3,000 in the administrative? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'd make a motion to uh, to put 45,000 in each set aside and $3,000 for administrative. Second. I second. Okay, good. Okay. You can have that one. Cassandra. Double second. <laughs> yeah. Cassandra okay. can have credit for that one. Okay. Uh, Gotta be quick. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't, oh uh, shit, I didn't make an arrangement. Oh, well, that's uh, that's this is a family show. Yeah. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Numbers again, Amy. Uh, I'd make a motion to put forty-five thousand into each set aside, and the three thousand uh, dollars for the administrative. Okay, thank you. And who who seconded that? Cassandra. Okay, good. I'm just keeping track because I've been notified. We have to keep track of what the votes are. So if Mark keeps track and I keep track, they should correspond. Yeah, I I'm not. Um, necessarily listing who makes the motion and who seconds because i was told i just need to i need to note that there was and yep. what and what the vote count was but uh it doesn't hurt to have that d detail you know? no that that's fine i i'm to believe you me i just as soon not have that information but that's okay so is there any other comments about the funding for the articles on the um set asides for the town of Hadley on the CPA committee? No. no. No other comments? All those in favor of the amounts signify by raising their hand? Is Thank that you. unanimous? You might have to yeah, Seven. slide across because of the shared screen. Seven, zero. Okay. Three, four, okay. Um, five, six, seven, yeah. Yes, two, three, you want me to, I can stop sharing till we need it again. Good. There we are. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, Welcome, six, John. Seven, eight. Oh, your your microphone isn't isn't working. Eight. Uh, I think that happened last time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't show that you're muted by Zoom, so you must be your whatever device you're using has an internal microphone that's not on. He's staying very still. Yeah. John, you can oh, also call, you can call the phone number too is another way to do right. the audio. To get the audio. So I've seen people do the video through yeah. the computer and call in for the audio. Yep. Okay. Um, next is, uh, seeing how we took care of, we're going to have all the spending done. We are going to, uh, what I was figuring on, because the next articles in the special town meeting in November were going to be our two articles for the CPA. One was for the cemeteries that were lumped all together. And um, I don't see a reason why we can't do that now. And the COVID emergency fund are going to be the next articles voted on. So I would kind of keep the same same thing going. So uh, I'm, I'm looking at an, a proposed article by Amy. This is good. I, I'm, I appreciate you doing this, Amy. This is very helpful. And um, the only thing we have to do, because now the set-asides, we just put $45,000 into the set-asides. So the the um, first one of the cemetery, the sixty thousand, yes. for the for North Hadley can all come from historic. Okay, so that instead one instead of the general be... fund on the second line, it, it can say historic fund. Um, sixty thousand from the uh, and so instead of from the general fund, it'll say historic. Correct. Right. Aha! I have that. 
And then on the next section where it talks about the set aside for the um, the Russellville Cemetery. Yeah. Um, instead of that 23,052.15 cents, it'll be 8,000 will come from the historic. So okay. you can cross out the 23,052.15 and put 8,000. Right, um, that's coming from historic. Yeah. And is the balance coming from the general um, fund? Right, the $22,000 balance will come from the general fund. 22. Thousand general fund, and then the the last one, the sixty five thousand, is correct at the general fund. Uh, sixty nine. Sixty five. It's not changing. That, that doesn't change. Mary, could you show us again? Could you? Yeah. I again? got. I got. I have written down sixty nine forty seven eighty five. No, that goes. That goes away. Okay, that part. Go you're looking at the old article. Oh. And transfer sixty five thousand. Yes, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So we're down here. Here's right. The, I get you. The I see. It. And sixty five thousand from the community general fund. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and we're gonna keep the the, the two year. If you got to use use it by uh, the town meeting of twenty three. Correct. Correct. Yep. If you want that again, just ask me. Yeah, just I know it's easier to see everybody too. So. <laughs> no, yes, it is. I, I I understand. I get it now, and uh, so that it will be the sixty-five from the general fund. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I, okay. I have that. And do we have who the money is going to? Yep. The recipient. Yes. Hadley Cemetery Committee. Yeah, general fund to the Hadley Cemetery Committee. Right in the middle of the of the motion. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments about this uh, article? We don't have a number yet because we don't know what number it's going to be on the warrant. So. Right. Uh, the cemeteries. Do we have any more comments? Any hearing none? Do we have a? I'd like to. Uh, we're going to take a vote on that, so we need to move that article. I'll move the article. To as written. Okay. Um, Move. Do we have a second? Second. Oh, Mary. Mary. Okay. I'm getting it. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any more comments on this article? I would just uh, ask Mary if you could share that one more time. I'm going to take a screenshot of it. And I also sent it to you. But let me, I keep tweaking it, so yeah. it's good to do it this way. Yeah. Screen sharing, yeah. Thank you. All set? Everyone yeah. else all set? Yep. So as of, as of now, we do not have any money in the historic set aside. Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. We have wiped, well, $52, right? <laughs> right, $15 cents. Dollars and <laughs> some odd cents, yeah. Yeah. All right, very good. Um, hearing no other uh, comments about this article, I'll uh, ask, are, is everybody in favor of this article? Signify by raising your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, thank you. One, two, three, four. Five, uh, six, seven. Very good. Okay. Um, about the COVID relief, do we have anybody from who's going to be speaking about the COVID relief fund? To, um, I think we discussed it. On infinitum the other yeah. day. The only thing that I was wondering, because uh, is this going to be taxable income? On uh, if someone applies for for uh, for money from from this fund, the landlords, yes. But the money would be coming; it would be taxable from for them if the tenant paid for it. The only difference would be the tenant would 
prob would not be able to claim that money as rent for right. a deduction. Right. I just that's something that came to light oh probably within that last couple of days because we just my CFO in the house here said, no, oh, all those relief checks we got are taxable items from the government. So, um, and oh, the cemeteries are gonna be changed. I'm sorry, the cemeteries, we're gonna change them to say the annual town meeting. Any unused, any unused? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, she has that in there. Yeah, she has that in there, in very there. good. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, does anybody have any questions about the uh, COVID emergency fund? No. Is everybody in favor of it? Well, I'll make a motion to um, appropriate or to recommend the appropriation and transfer of 100,000 from CPA housing to the Hadley Housing and Economic Development Committee with the two conditions stated, no funds will be dispersed prior to the signing by both parties of a letter of agreement between the select board and the qualifying administering program on behalf of Hadley Housing Development, Hadley Economic Development Committee, um, addressing eligibility, administration and oversight and two, if the funds are not expended under the Emergency Rental Assistance Program by annual town meeting 2023, any unused balances shall be returned to the Community Preservation Housing Fund. That's my motion. Okay, is there a second? A second. Okay, second by Mark, thank you. And Mark, all of that came out of the um, document Amy shared with us. Okay. In our in email. Yes. I'll I'll attach that to my draft minutes. Yeah, it was it's the uh, articles she gave us a list of the articles. So I did not come up with that out of my head. <laughs> the um the the number one condition, maybe yep. they've already taken care of that. I don't know, but uh um Molly never said to take it out. And everybody seemed fine with how it was written for the last meeting. So I just copied it, everything the same. Whether or not they've already made those agreements, the select board, and they might have gone a little bit further than this, but. All right. Well, mm -hmm. then they I think that's the first condition. Yeah. yeah. We'll I think at the last meeting, they said they were very close to signing, but they hadn't signed yet. So okay. I think yeah. it's good to keep it in there. Yeah. yeah that's, that's just correct. Protects it protects the taxpayers of the town of Hadley. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree. And there's no way we can put in that as um, you got to use the, uh, and we, well, we all know that you can't use CPA money to repay other accounts. Right. So that's a no, no, you can't really do that. So it has to be given to the people first. And then any unused funds get returned, get returned to the CPA committee. Initially, by, at at the end of this, uh, by the uh, town meeting of 2023, unless they ask for for an extension. Okay, does everybody understand that? Have I confused you enough? <laughs> there, there were a couple of things I wasn't clear about okay, when Andy. Molly last presented. So now they have a thing where the select board is putting up 50,000 and anything that's not spent is before, by the time they get the CPA's 100,000 goes back to the select board and then they have 100,000 to spend from CPA. Right. So there's now 150,000 right. that they can spend on this fund. Right. Uh, which is kind of a lot. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, hopefully the pandemic will be over in, by two years. I mean, do they really need two years to, yeah. to get all this money out the door? I think, um, uh, if I recall, I think Molly said that she compared what some of the neighboring um, towns um, had already had in, in 
progress or in process and they were so the, the numbers were justified and yes she was thinking that was overly conservative and that they would be coming back before then but the two years because it's been such an unforeseen condition was a safety net but she expected to return the funds much earlier that's what i recall her saying at the last meeting yeah well i'm, I'm a, well i don't know how they're going to do it but i'm a little concerned that uh a shorter time to use the money would convey a sense of urgency um, commensurate with the problem that's hopefully being solved. Right, but Andy, right now we don't know. Everybody thought this was going to be over, you know, by the end of last summer. And we keep getting hit with wave upon wave that is preventing um, people from going back to a normal life and from people um, getting employment. And the fact that, um, you know, the government hasn't acted since last spring to help people really in a comprehensive package doesn't, to me, I mean, two years, they're saying, you know, we are not going to be back to normal until the end of 2023 because we will not have worldwide um, herd immunity yep. until 2023 because of all the countries that need to be vaccinated. So it's still gonna affect people. I don't see it having an issue of a two year because if it's not needed, it'll just come back. And they can always, if they disband the program, they can always disband it and give the money back to the CPA. Okay, so what if what if we just put a one year no, uh, in, in, I, in the motion and then they ask for an extension? Um, what, I do not accept that? that amendment, Edwin. Excuse me? I do not <laughs> accept that amendment. I think what? it's- Why not? I think if, if you're doing that to give them a sense of urgency, I don't think that's what we should do. That's going to hamstring them with their program, which they've never done this program before. They have the urgency. They have the passion. They brought it to us. So I'm not worried about that. And, but the bookkeeping, the follow-up, and whatever they, you know, they've never done this before. So I think giving them two years and expecting that it'll take a year or a year and a half um, is a fair and reasonable uh, way to not hamstring them. Okay. Yeah. I, no, I was just, if, if people are gonna feel uncomfortable about having such a long period of time, then we could shorten the period of time and have the people ask for an extension. What's, what's the difference, you know? Well, they, it's, it's hard if um, the extension is needed in between town meetings, you know, right. that's, that's what's hard if it, if it ends up running out in like July and they faster than they thought or something, it's, it's, um, no, I think I mean, two years isn't really that long. We've already, yeah. we're coming up on a whole year now. And I think I've mentioned before working with other mm -hmm. rental assistance um, programs through an internship and the length of time that it takes for people to get assistance, which is constantly being, offered and referenced as an option they have but it literally i think wayfinders right now is processing applications from november and mm -hmm. that's like a big program that does this all the time and they're just starting on those so i think it, i think mark's right about the fact that they've never done this before and an extra processing time is to be expected and i think paulette's right that the virus is um, not going anywhere for the time being and who knows I mean, they just try to open UMass and they just close it right back down. And we have a lot of people in town who work there and who maybe, you know, we don't really know who has job security or anything like that in the near future. A lot future. of people got furloughed. Yeah. You know, and um, a woman that was a government official once told me that any municipal program moves at a glacial speed. So this is a municipal program and it will move at a glacial speed. So I really don't think we should tie their hands with a one year and ask for a two year extension. 
case in point, I'm bringing forward a request for an extension on an APR. Mm -hmm. That was two years in the making and it still hasn't gotten closed yet because of little things that have happened. And APRs are usually a given thing, so. And as for unforeseen, you know, who would have foreseen that we would have had so many people leave the town meeting because they were cold and then we, we had a quorum call. So, you know, they're already scrambling to get this out there. Yep. All right, well, I'm not, I, I just threw it out there to see what people felt. It's not one way, I don't feel one way or the other about it. So if you wanna vote for it, that's fine. If you wanna vote against it, that's fine too. Well, I made the motion. Yep. I didn't accept your, your suggested amendment. Yep. And it's been seconded. It has. Well, once, it's, once you propose a motion and you second it, then it's, uh, we can discuss it legally. Yep. Yep. So that's, that's what we did. Yep. Edwin, do you want us to vote on your amendment? No, that's okay. No. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll withdraw my amendment. Okay. I, it, um, it, it, Mark, was, it was just a comment anyway. Yeah. Okay. Mark, technically it has to be the proposed amendment has to be accepted by the person who made the motion and who oh. seconded it. Oh. It's not a, a vote of the so, board for that. So no hostile uh, no. amendments? No, no. There's no hostile. It's not like uh, Congress. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Anybody else? Not yet. <laughs> anybody else have anything to say about the COVID relief um, motion? I'm going to, I'm just, I'm going to abstain only because I have one rental property in Hadley. So I, that's the only reason I'm abstaining. Okay. But when you take the vote, you'll see my hand isn't raised. All right. Okay. Oops. Wait a minute. Hold it. I put you in the wrong column. There you go. There, I didn't draw it right. Okay, um, seeing no other comments, all those in favor of uh, this, bringing this COVID relief to town meeting signify by raising their hand. Four, five, six, one, two, three. okay, so. That was six, oh, uh, six, oh, and one. Correct. Right. I don't know if people saw on the Gazette, but East Hampton just started their program. For 300,000, it was in yeah. today's. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, just out of interest, um, I don't know if Amy's the one or Mary, I don't know who's on top of what the articles are. We have a placeholder. Do we need multiple items so that the town can, you know, like, I would imagine that the, the town voters would want to have the different line items so that they can approve, you know, let's say Russellville, but not approve, um, you know, each project will have to be its own vote or it's not you're, like a con consent decree. I mean, it's not. Um, no, each one. You're, that's talking, what, you're talking about the cemetery one? It well, was, I'm talking about all of our projects and our funding. So would our funding request be one article and then yeah, each right. project expenditure would be its, its own article? Yeah. No, the it's funding and it. housekeeping articles are part of the, the consent decree. Oh, okay. Like uh, the- um, The 45,000. Uh, right, okay. the executive fund, the, right. that kind of thing. Okay, right. And the cemetery was three separate articles, but because it was going to, they were trying to shorten it, they got all put into one and we they lumped them all to together into one. one article. I forgot about that, right, right, right? Yeah. So I was just doing this exact same thing. That's all for as far as the cemeteries are concerned. Now, um, so that's why that ended up being that way. So any other, uh, any other comments about that? Okay, hearing none, we got an APR project for uh, Grilinski. You want to talk about that, uh, Paulette? Yep, hang on a second. I, mm -hmm. I was looking at the other one. Okay, so Grilinski. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so this is, this I is, know. I will share my screen. Yeah. This is the Grilinski 
um, property right here. Yep. Okay, that is the property. It is 6B parcels one and two. So these are these yep. right here, parcels one and two. Right. So those, and hang on a second, I believe. So what we are looking at, um, uh, 6B, yeah. Six. it's on Route 47, it is, which is designated as a national scenic byway. We feel that it meets all of the requirements. We've got all the gold set out on there and the partnership funding, um, Department of uh, Ag Resources, DAR is going to pay 99,000. The town is responsible for 11,000. So that's 5,500 from CPA open space or general fund um, and 5,500 from the conservation commission's TDR account. Right. So we are funding 50% uh, of the town share. Correct. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, yep. Right. Um, any other, uh, and this is going to have the same uh, uh, two years to spend the money if not spend yeah. the remaining funds? Yep. Okay. Uh, any other, any other comments or any other comments about this uh, APR? I appreciate the simple fact that the Conservation Commission is getting some money from out of their own pocket and it's a good uh, to let people know that you, that's really the way you should do it but yep. i really appreciate the conservation commission coming forward when saying well listen we'll give a portion of our own money even though it all comes out of the same spot it all comes out of taxpayers money or the town of hadley and it's it's all the same thing, but it's well, good to see that it's well, uh, coming out. Not of exactly, Edwin. The TDR is transfer of development, development rights. rights. Yes. So that is paid for. That's money that is from development costs, not from tax dollars. Right. So there's a difference there. Yeah. Uh, the development may be developer may be from out of town, so they're contributing that money in there. Yep. Hey, Paulette, if you nope. weren't using that money as part of this project, what, what would the committee use it for? What do you mean? Well, you're, you know, you have a budget or a certain amount of money you can spend on things, right? If you, if you hadn't spent this 5,500, 5, if CPA paid for it all, what would you do with that five grand, that five, five? Well, transfer development rights, and Mark, you, if you are more familiar with this, it is a fund that allows development of land that's in farmland in exchange for a certain amount of money to be deposited into the transfer of development right accounts. And that money is to be used to purchase farmland or preserve other lands. So we couldn't really just use that money for anything. It would be used for land acquisition. The TDR fund, right. That's where we're encouraging development along the Route 9 corridor. Yeah. Um, and if they can't meet all the zoning requirements, they can do the TDR. So it's, yeah. Right. right. Yep. Sounds like a good use. So on, like this fits in. on the warrant, it looks like when we do this, um, it looks like one article is for the um, CPA money, and then another article is put in there for the TDR. Who yeah. who gives that? Does um, conservation give that information all to town administrator? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We will so I that. I have a comment on on just kind of a picky comment. Uh, the first couple of articles said they had to use it by town meeting annual town meeting twenty twenty three, and these articles say within two years. I was wondering about being consistent, either saying annual town meeting 2023 or two years yes. for all of them. Well, normally we said it at 
two years because sometimes town meeting, you have the initial date and then you have, if it gets continued, it's the date that it's voted on at annual town meeting. That's fine. It's, it's just that some of the articles say it one way and some of the articles say it just two years. So I, I don't know. I was just going to suggest that we be consistent. Right. One I, way or the other, maybe. Which one do you like better? I like, I like annual saying town annual meeting. town meeting because you know when that date is right. instead of having to look back and, and see. But right. Um, well, oh, but the date changes every year. So you still have to look the date up. Well, no, but if it's you go the, to, if there's a, every year there's an annual town meeting. Right. But if, if it gets. There'll be one next year, there'll be one in 2023. So it's, it's up to that. It's up to the annual town meeting that they have to spend the money. Right. Not, but, not, Two years. Edwin, do you remember what the date of annual town meeting was two years ago? But it's it's not. No, that's you, why it's harder to say easy. just two years. It's easier two to say years the from the date of the vote. Right, but then you have to look. Technically, should say two years. Then you the then the you vote. have to look back and see when that vote was. Whereas if it's still by to annual town meeting twenty twenty three, you can just call okay. the town clerk. Yeah, no, it should be it should be two years. We've always done two years from the date of approval, not by the annual town meeting. I don't know where that change came in, but it um, somewhere along the line somebody changed that just recently because it has always been. And Edwin, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we've always said funds must be spent within two years of the approval. Right, but now how come the previous two articles say annual town meeting 2023? What's Someone the changed that. Excuse Someone, me? that was not what the, if you go back and well, those two previous ones were supposed to be um, the fall town meeting, correct? Yeah. So, that article, somebody changed the wording when they brought it forward. So I'm confused. Why don't we just keep it all the same? That's all. We should That's keep it the saying. same, and it should be two days from the two years from the date of the approval, because that's when the time ticks. It, I don't. I've looked back through a lot of the town warrants, and I I tend to remember that it was usually by the the um. Do you remember, Andy, the annual? What if you that? if you look at the votes of the CPA, uh -huh. the votes have said expended within two years of the date of approval or of the annual town meeting where it's approved. It's not meant to use, it was never meant to have the two years or the town meeting be that date. What if we move the town meeting date up to March for some reason, or we had to move it back to like July? Then you throw off those time frames. Yeah, so, you're arguing against yourself. No. Anyway, yeah, you no, are. Because, because in a sense, the annual town meeting is an arbitrary date, it moves. Yeah. But if we're saying it needs to be expended within two years from the date of approval, just like permits, permits go by the date that it's approved, not the next planning board meeting or CONSCOM meeting. It's the date of approval. That's your time clock. I would, I would support Paulette. I think that it is more protective of our applicants to give them, you know, they know exactly what they're, they, they get two years, as opposed to in two years, the town meeting dynamics could change. Right. So I would just, I, my comment mostly is to be consistent. So maybe if we want to go with the two years, we could say that in the, the cemetery and the COVID relief fund also. And you were yeah. saying two years from the date it's voted? See, I don't, I, in my opinion, I don't necessarily agree. I think I like the fact of it is the two years of 20, uh, annual town meeting 2023. So just let's talk about, because if I'm going back and looking at some of these to be returned, well, 
Some of them like the Lake Warner uh, boardwalk that we're gonna talk about being returned. Well, if I'm shy, because like you said, the meeting moves a little bit and I'm shy by two weeks, do I have to wait to special town meeting now to be able to return those funds or can we vote now because it's annual town meeting? So the fact of that the town meeting moves, it, it might hurt us, to, it might hurt both parties. So say- um, Well, here's one thing, Amy, and we, we did this so that we, and Andy, feel free to jump in this was something that was recommended by Piner Valley that we just say it gets returned if it's not spent. Therefore, when they vote it, it doesn't have to go back to town meeting. So if there are any in there that didn't have, some of those that are coming forward, Amy, to get returned, um, if they said, expended by or it gets returned, it does not have to go back to town meeting. It just gets returned. It did say that too, except for there was one that didn't, but the rest all had that date it had to right. be used So by. anything that says used by this date or it gets returned does not have to go back to town meeting for a vote because the town has already voted that if it's not expended, it gets returned to those articles. That makes a lot of sense, in which case we'd only have to vote on the Lake Warner monitoring because that one was 2016 and it didn't have a limit. But the rest right. all said it should go back yes. to, the, so, to the general fund for the ones that are coming up. Right. Um, um, but they, yeah, they don't go back to the, they go back to whatever fund the money came out of. Right. So it happened to be the general fund. Okay. Yeah. So and that would be nice if because it seems like a lot of time spent in town hall or in town meeting doing something that's already been voted on. Right. So those and that was a change we specifically made so that it didn't have to keep going back to town meeting. Okay. And that was one thing that Larry Smith recommended and that we started doing. So it should say. Any, yeah, because we say any unused balances shall be returned to the CPA general fund or historical fund. That's how the wording goes. Which is fine. I, um, I guess I have mixed feelings. You know, I mm. agree with that. And I do have some mixed feelings on, on, on that. Um, it is good that less time at town meeting, you know, anything that we can take off the warrant, that is a good thing. But it would be kind of nice too for our taxpayers that do go to all these town meetings that they, oh, I remember I did that two years ago. They never did that. You know, it's nice to have that public information. If it automatically goes, no one knows what's happening and the public doesn't know. So that's kind of a bummer. But if you think about it, Amy, how many people look at the town budget, all those line items and say, oh, that didn't get spent? okay, then that goes back to this account. I mean, I don't think people look at the minutia of that detail. It's just like the annual town budget. You know, if you don't spend it by June 30th, it all goes, gets wiped away. And some of it, I agree, but you, I'm surprised that the people that remember some of this stuff, they'll say, oh yeah, what do you mean you need another lawnmower? You just bought one two years ago and they remember exactly yeah. what they bought. I'm just saying people remember this stuff. Well, I don't think they remember the, the CPA stuff because otherwise people would be complaining about the pillars at town hall. The, some of the amounts that are, are coming, returning back are just the small leftover amounts. It might've been $5,000 and there's 200 that didn't get spent. So it's just right. kind of cleaning up that. Right. Yeah. Not that it didn't get done. It's just that they, you know, didn't quite spend everything that they were Given. allowed to spend in some cases. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, I'm so sorry. I, I like the wording that it's, if funds are, so we need, would go back to revise the cemetery, that it would be if the funds are not expended within two years of the vote at annual town meeting, any unused balances shall be returned. 
I, I like it the other way because I think it's easier to keep track of. Um, yeah, annual town meeting. If you, it's 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 a, it's a flexible day. It, it'll you're you're telling somebody that it's going to be two years from the annual town meeting of 2021. So if there's a five because of the calendar, if there's a, a date delay or something, then what happens to that money? It ends up in limbo. If you right. say the annual town meeting. It means where you get when you at the town meeting, it gets returned, whether it's two years or two years and three days. It doesn't matter. That's right. But for example, what we did in 2020 was the the May town meeting was in July. So if you say the yeah. 2023, you know, the 2022 town meeting, that's shorting them by what two or three months from right. actually getting two years. If it's May 2022 versus July 2020, right. So I, I like the date. He, I like the hard date. You know, the, yeah. You know. I I really think for legality, you should have a hard and fast date. So it's bit especially when people are getting money, they know I need to spend this money by, you know, if the town meeting this year is May 10th. 2021, then they need to have this money spent by May 10th, 2023. Hard and fast date. Two years from the date of approval at town meeting. Not make it wishy-washy, like, well, maybe this date or maybe that date. They have a hard and fast. Just like when we do any kind of a legal do. document has a date when it's signed, a date when it's approved. Okay. Why don't we... Uh... I'd like to make them see, I, I agree with um, the original one with the annual town meeting. Why? And so we do have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit here that we both want two different things. Why don't we just take a quick vote on it so we can move on, I would think. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, is anybody else aside from the um, dates, the ending date of the articles, anybody, does anybody have anything more to say? About the I think it should come out of open space. It should come out of open space, not the general fund. Oh yes. Uh, how how much money do we have in the uh, in the open space? We have after the set asides, we have one hundred forty three thousand three hundred and eighty three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should come out of open space. Open because that has to. I think right. if if this is a copy of ones we've done in the past, we've usually wiped out yep. the uh, open space fund pretty quickly. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good catch, good catch. I appreciate that, thank you. Um, okay, anybody else have anything to add to the, now that we kind of beat that to death a little bit, but anybody else have anything, any comments about the Grilinski APR with the, taking the money from the CPA open space? fund okay seeing none well did we make a motion in a second right um we, oh yes we need to, we right. need to deal with before we vote on this we need to deal with um the wording the of the term wording. do you so, want the floating term which refers to the town meeting or do you want the hard calendar date so just to move it along i will make a motion that our um, CPA articles are contingent or the spending of the money is contingent upon or have, okay, wait a minute. The CPA funds would have to be spent two years from the date that it is approved at town meeting, annual town meeting, fall town meeting, whichever it is two years from the date that it is approved. Well, are we saying the annual town meeting or the special town meeting? Well, either. it would be either. That we're saying from this point forward, that's kind of the, the, so that it would be two years, people would have two years from the date of approval is what I am proposing. Whether it be at annual town meeting or fall town meeting, special town meeting. It's so you're two willing... years from the date of approval. So this is kind of a sub motion before right. we get 
to the the overall article. We're right. just this is a motion on the wording of the term of the lending. Right. So I'm going to share my screen again if people don't mind. Um, yep, no, please do. And you'd have to vote to amend the previous wording of the previous articles. Right. So right. they would be consistent. Yeah. yeah. Right. So what I have here is I've got the outstanding projects I have when we voted on them. And then I have used by, and instead of putting, I could put the exact date, you know, of whatever Should be the that exact time date was. So because remember, there. this is, these are legal documents. I'm confused on this one. Okay. So Edwin, this is, these are what Mary is saying is that instead of saying May 21st town meeting, it needs to be the date of the town when that town meeting is. So I'd put so that, that on say five, five, well, six. It says ATM, eight. annual town meeting. Whatever the annual town meeting was in 2020, that's right. the date it's gotta be spent by. Right, and then I'll put the date over here. So, For example, if you go down to line 59, the library window brackets, that was approved 28, um, so that was July, right? Yeah. And, we did, and they only have until May. Right, All these so that should days. not, unless it said annual town meeting. That's why you need to, the devil is in the detail of the wording of the warrant article. If it said they have two years to approve, to expend the funds, right. it's two years from the date that it was approved. So right. if annual town meeting was in July, they have till July, not May of 22, right. it would be July of 22 that they have to spend. The key is very legally. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see a difference in that. I don't see if, well, you, say, if you say two years, it, it's 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 a matter of semantics. I, I don't I don't see well, the difference. If you talk to a lawyer, it's not semantics. Well, so if if we I are think, saying they have two years from a certain date to use that money, it needs to be two years from that date. Whether that's it's the July, only way to have a fixed right. period of time. Right. Even though Edwin, I'm sure you're right that the town meeting is close to the same date but the only way to have a fixed period of time for everything would be to say from the date of approval right and i can keep track of that here i can i can easily just put in the actual dates and the actual use by date two years yeah. later so okay. we'll a lot of that would be that is what the wording on the document says so we really in order to in a sense dot our i's cross our t's it needs to be the date because like with any type of a permit, Edwin, under Conservation Commission, if it was approved and you've got three years and you came in in three years and one day, you've got to refile. We've had right. people do that. So I just think for consistency, that's why my motion was to have our funding go with the two years from the specific date of approval. And I guess, you know, if we're going to do this, as long as we're pretty consistent into the future, because the last couple of years have been the annual town meeting, you know, two years right. from the next town meeting. Um, so I think, I, I just like the idea of it being consistent. If we want to make yep. the change now, that's fine, but we should probably keep it that way. Yeah, I, that, that I agree. Uh, I, I looked at it, I read it, I saw it, but I didn't see it. I must not have seen it, but. All right, um, so I have a motion on the floor. Okay, what, what, what's your motion to add? My motion is that our funding time period would be however many years we set it from the date of approval at either annual town meeting or special town meeting. So at special town meeting, you're giving somebody two and a half years. No. No. Yeah. If they get approved in November of 2019, 
they have until whatever date it is, November 2021, to spend it, Edwin. Right, yes. Okay, so they get two years from the date of approval, no matter what town meeting it's approved at. That's what I'm saying, whether it's annual town meeting or the fall special town meeting. I feel like we should hold these meetings in the morning when all of my neurons are firing. <laughs> yeah. well. So I moved. Think we need to vote. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I've made a motion. We need a second. At least to move it. All right. Okay. Um, a second. Yeah. All okay. Right. So this will be to amend the previous two articles. No, this is no, just this is to say if do we want to do it this way. Well, and Mary, is, is this a general? I'm sorry. Is this in general, Paulette, or is this for Grilinski? This is in general, and then we will have to, if we, if it passes, we will be able, we'll have to go back and amend the cemetery if we choose. And the, and in the emergency. And right. then in the emergency, and then we have not made a motion on Grilinski yet. Okay. So. So you're recommending that two, uh, that we have two years from the date of approval at from whatever the date town meeting. That the funding is approved at town meeting. Right. Okay. Right. Two years from the date of town meeting, whatever town meeting it's approved at. Annual or special. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is there a second to Paulette's? Yeah. Okay. Mark, Mark and Paulette. Uh, wanted a motion and Mark seconded it. So um, any other comments about it? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion as stated signify by raising your hand. I'll go along with it. All those opposed? Amy's opposed and uh, Denise is abstaining. Yep. Okay, wow. Um, you got that, Mark? <laughs> uh, what did we get? Four and one? Or I, I didn't see your vote. Four, oh, four I vote. I don't, I don't, I'm going to abstain because I just don't know. I have to think about four, it. Okay. I'm gonna abstain. So well, I think that's four, one, and two then. No, no, it four, would be three, five, one, six, and seven. two. No, one, two, three. Yeah, four, one, and two. Yeah, four, so one, and passes. two. Yeah. 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 The, the one thing it's I nice would say, that, it's nice to not always be unanimous. You know? well, yeah, I agree. We're a working body. Yeah. Well, the one thing I would say, which is not strictly germane to what you just voted on, um, is uh, the, the, the procedure of getting the money back that Paulette described makes perfect sense. And that's not how Hadley does it. And uh, having discussed this with the, um, with the town attorney, it's Hadley's tradition that whenever money gets moved from one account to another, town meeting has to vote to do it. Well, uh, we've already put that motion in there. Yeah, we already put that in the motion. It's it's, so, it's but that's not but that's but that's not how Hadley, that's not how Hadley does it, and that's not how it's been done in the past. Well, then maybe we need to use our legal client our our, <laughs> well, our what, admi Andy, administration funds to have somebody send a letter and say. Put the money back in the account without going to town meeting. Well, what he, what he suggested was that town meeting vote to approve that, that the money goes back automatically. And if nobody questions it, then that's how it can happen. Yeah. You mean but, a general a general vote that from now and into the future right. when, when it's worded like this, it doesn't need to be voted on. By town meeting to return the funds, correct. Yeah. We asked the town treasurer on that one. Or? The town treasurer told me that they, she just needed to have a vote of the CPA committee to return the funds. Okay. Hmm. Right. I got different advice on this. Hmm. So, well, back in the day, we, but got, it hasn't, yeah, it hasn't happened. <laughs> no, no yeah. money has automatically gone back into CPA. There's always been a town meeting vote. Well, right. I think. I think, I think it's better to it's do it. Worded though. like this, and we send a letter or take a vote saying that these funds have not been expended, return them to our account. I think what Mary was saying is that 
the treasurer will do it. That's what the, I'm just saying what the town attorney told me when yeah. I was working on this. And just, just to muddy this one more, with one more question. Let's say, for example, poor John Schott, who's been waiting for his issue to come up. Let's say we give him $100,000 and we give him 90 out of historic and 10 out of general fund. Then let's say he only spends 70,000. He returns 30. Does that 30 go 10 into the general and the 20 into yep. back into historical? Yep. Okay. Cuz you wipe out your main you set aside first, first, right. you set aside. And then the general fund. So anything returned greater than what the general fund put, put in goes back into the original set aside. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. I think we beat that horse. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but, okay, so now we have the article about the Grulinski APR. Does anybody have any more comments about that? It seemed well put together. Um, it, I agree. It's a it's a scenic byway, so I'm I'm for it. Let's. Okay. Yeah. And I the wording. Cool. So just in the article, the wording would be changed. It would be two years from the date of approval at annual town meeting, and if not spent, any remaining funds would revert back to CPA. Do you think it really needs to, sp it says the applicant will have two years to spend the funding. Do you think it needs to specifically? Yeah, we, we should say two years from the date of, or from the date of approval. Which is the day we're voting on this. Right. So, so if you don't want to have to specify which term meeting, you just say two years from the date of approval. Mm. And then the open space. Yep. Yes, and it would be open space, not general. Right. And the recipient is the Conservation Commission? Um, it's select board, it says to. Yeah, because select the select board, board okay. signs the agreements. Okay. As the, as the town primary. Um, kind of owner of um, property or interest in property. Okay. Um, okay. So now we we did that one. And yeah. I gave you the map and parcel. Uh, map six B parcel one and two. Yep. Okay. Then, map. I didn't catch that. Map six B. Yep. Six uh, B. Parcel one and two. Yeah. Uh, that was in an email that you sent us with the materials, right? Yep. Yeah. And then Hanrich. Yeah. Find um, that one with the map and parcel. Okay, um, uh, the next article will be the Handridge APR. Yep. Um, okay, on the, uh, we voted on Gorlinski. I don't think we had a motion yet, did we? Oh, I'm, I lost track. So I'd like to make a motion to um, approve Gorlinski for the 5,500 out of the open space from everything we've talked about from the two years date of approval. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I guess I missed that. Um, that was my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, is there a second? Second. Um, okay, is motion moved by Amy and second by uh, Mary? Okay, I get it. Those don't exist. All those in favor? Or, or anybody have any more to say on that? Okay, all those in favor signify by raising their hand. And, uh, okay, so that's seven and oh. So, yes. Seven oh oh. Yes. Okay. 
Now, the Handrich APR. This is Handrich's property. Yep. Right here. It is filling in the void right here. Because this is protected, that's protected, that's protected. Right. Right. Okay. Where, what? Hang on. It's, hang on. On the assessor's map. I can't, I can't open multiple documents while I'm sharing. So let me grab that up. Okay. Hanrich is map nine, parcel 21, and a portion of parcel 21A. 40.5 acres of farmland. And that is a that is adjoining other farmland. Is that correct? Yep. It's okay. filling in filling in a hole. Yep. And we're gonna have it worded the same way as the previous one, correct? Yep. Open space in the two years. Yes, two years. And then from the open space account, which is um, so the funding would be it's 40.5 acres. DAR right. is paying 234,000. From the town this share is 26,000. So 13,000 would be from open space and 13 13,000 will be contributed by the Conservation Commission's TDR account. And this still will leave 120, just under 125,000 in open space for future mm -hmm. projects, um, plus whatever set asides get added to it. Oh, so that that doesn't include the the set asides that we voted earlier. There's plenty of money. Okay. Yeah, the 120. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. You know, there'll be more money in the future from mm -hmm. additional set asides, but it still leaves a balance of. About one hundred twenty-five thousand. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, how much was the DAR put in? Two hundred and four. Two thirty-four. Uh, yeah. So two thirty-four and twenty-six is two hundred fifty. Oh, two hundred sixty. Two sixty. Yep. Okay. Not bad for forty acres. I'd uh, rather that than see a new mall go up there. Mm. Or a subdivision. Right. All right. Uh, does anybody have any more comments about this uh, article about the Handrich APR? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to uh, recommend this to town meeting. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve uh, the Hanrich APR for the 13,000 uh, for open space and the two year date of, of, from approval. Okay, is there a second? Mark seconds. Okay, does anybody have any more comments on this article with the, as as presented with the uh, wording is the way it is. Seeing none, all those in favor of recommending this to town meeting signify by raising their hand. One, two, three, four, seven, oh, oh. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Now I was I would recommend that we go to the uh, first church first congregation first con congregational church for the purpose of repair and restoration of the 1909 Seth Thomas clock located in the historic center of Hadley. Um, get there yet? Hmm. Did you get there yet? Just. Uh huh. Okay. You hear me? Yes, we hear you, John. Yay! Hmm. Yeah. Thank you for your patience. You have a voice. And yes, yes thank I do. you for your patience. Yes. Yep. Uh, we're on your article. What do you, anything more to add to it or not? 
other than we still looking, we're interested in the person we originally looked at, uh, but I'm also looking at uh, two other uh, companies in regards to uh, restoration. But the, cha the amount requested will not change. Okay. And you are putting in 2,500 of your own money or? That's correct. Right. Okay. And um, the wording is the same. You're, uh, you're happy with the wording? Yes. Uh, I, I don't know if John has the wording. Oh. Uh, so um, maybe we can, I'll, I'll read it to him uh, just to see if this is okay. To see if the town will vote to appropriate 13,500 from the Community Preservation Act General Fund. Is that correct, General Fund? Yes. Um, it's not historic. It's not We've already historic. spent all the historic. Okay. Oh, kind of, that's right, right. To the first congregational church for the purpose of repair and restoration of a 1909 Seth Thomas clock located in the historic center of Hadley. Conditions include the applicant would have two years from date of approval and if uh, to spend the funding and if not, any remaining funds would be revert back to the Community Preservation Act General Fund. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay, does anybody have any, well, first of all, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the article. Okay, the thank clock. you, Mary. I will second. Uh, Mary, move. Move and Paulette is second. Okay. Uh, any other comments now? Uh, open the floor for comments. Do um, you think we're going to have a, a little bit of grief because there should be a separation of church and state, or how are we going to handle that? In, two, um, in 2012, um, we, the CPA awarded money for the steeple mm -hmm. and because it's not a religious service, this or the, the steeple or the clock, um, the historical commission is in favor of this funding. Uh -huh. you, so, you no, all... I, I, I myself am in favor of it. Every time I drive through the center of town, I look to see what time it is. Yep. So I just trying to make people aware that that may come up at town meeting. That's all. I'm not. Did, did you, you uh, did the CPA also give funding to the North Hadley Church for the repair of their steeple? Yep. Yeah. Yes, we did. Quite a bit. But that was not for a religious artifact. That was for the repair of a, of a historic building. Right. Right, Andy? Yes. Yeah. Yes, there's a three there's a three part criteria that the Supreme Court has laid out, and without getting into too many details, this project meets all three of the yeah. criteria. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, my, my my question, John, is um, often we find with these projects, they uh, they're more extensive than originally anticipated. Um, things need more repair or more restoration or port port parts. <laughs> Costs more than you expect. Um, and then if you need to come back for more money, the project is delayed another six months. So maybe um, if the committee would consider upping the amount for a contingency, which of course would be returned if you didn't spend it, then there wouldn't be any holdups in the project. I have, to, I have to think that the people of the, the uh, First Congregational Church of Hadley are smart enough to figure that out. And I have to think that they got quotes and they probably added a few, added some money into it. And I have no problem um, keeping the amount the same. Uh, I, I think you're correct. You're correct in what you're saying. The uh, gentleman that we are interested in down in Rhode Island did come out and look at the clock and he was pretty, after questioning him for a little bit, he was pretty uh, uh, accurate in regards to what he thought needs to be done on the clock and the cost-wise of it. 
So I think we're pretty good at for the figure that we are at. Okay. Does that answer your question, Andy? It's his, it's his proposal. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have two years to. Uh, right. If it was my proposal, I would want the contingency in case I needed it. Right. But you, you go your own way, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Cassandra had to leave. I noticed she's not on here. Oh, she is. She's just oh, there. You are okay. You're eating. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any comments about this um, article? No, I I would just say that I enjoyed the video that uh, Andy shared. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The clock is great. This yeah. is what CPA was made for, you yeah, know, to, I, to fund these important things that the town would just never get around to. I so, agree. I agree. I don't know why the town doesn't do that, but that's another issue. Well, it's very, it's very hard to spend money on a historic clock when you have to fund the school budget, right? That's yeah. just the way it goes. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know, Ed, Edwin, you said you've been looking at the clock, you know, to see what time it was. People have been doing that in Hadley for a hundred years. Oh yeah. So I let's agree. do it for another hundred years. Oh, I, I, I don't. Uh, you got my vote. I'm in favor of it. Okay. Hundred and twenty-two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, okay. Uh, we need a motion. Do we have a motion for the um, steeple clock? I did made a motion vote? already. Okay. Oh, you did. I did have it right. Yeah. Yeah. And Paulette seconded it. Yes, I did. Okay. I had that down right. I don't know why I crossed it out but I did. Okay, does anybody else have any comments on this uh, motion? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye or raising their aye. hand. Aye hand. Aye hand, whatever, yeah. Seven okay. zero zero. Right. Now, John, if you do get um, some questions about the church and state issue, I'm happy to defend you. Unless okay. somebody from the committee would rather do it. No. Okay, thank you. And I would even get up there, even untrained, and say if it were if we were, you know, restoring historic pews inside the church, but this is something that the town can see and everyone benefits from whether you go to church there or not, because it's in, you know, it's part of the town fabric. That's the third criteria right there. Yep. Yeah. And there was a lot of support for the church when the steeple work was being done. Mm -hmm. There's right. a lot of people that said they've never been inside the church, but they love seeing it. The building, the historic building, they yep. love seeing. Yeah. And they had to come back for a second request, right? So mm. I won't say I told you so or anything like that. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, hey, Mary, Mary, what are we doing next about the taking back the money or Amy? Somebody can explain that to me. I think we need, isn't it the extensions, article extensions? Yeah, that's what I would. That's what I was referring to. This is this is not taking money back. These are people that need a little more time. Okay. Yes. Extensions. Got it. Got it. Got right. it. But I want to point. I want to point out that the town hall, caught the pillars, yep. we actually voted um, to last summer. We voted to extend them till May of twenty two. So they've already been extended. The, um, so, but was it voted on on town meeting? It was voted on in town meeting. That was warrant number five in okay. PM 2020 to extend it for another year. That wasn't one of the ones that got pushed. Right. No, this was last summer. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that so the town hall pillars don't need to be column. The town hall columns pillars don't need to be on this list because um, right. they're already extended a year. Right. And then the other just Amy just um the. Old Hadley Cemetery restoration. That was special town meeting 19, not 17. Oh. Okay. On that chart too, just to point that out. Oh, okay. So old Hadley Cemetery was 19. Special right. town meeting 19. Okay. And one 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 question I had was I noticed you gave these all two years extensions. Did you mean two years or just one year? One year. Because that would be. 22, right? 22, 22, right? Right, 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 right. Yep. Okay, so that would be, an, and so one year for the two cemeteries, 
and Alan gave a letter for that. The Russell School and the and the town uh, columns. Um, I mean, I talked to the um, town administrator. She didn't think that she would even need it. She thinks that they're going to be done before annual town meeting. But I just put it here just in case because they are in the process of getting it going. So they said they are moving ahead. So the only reason why I put it here because I figured we could always take it off, pull it. Right. Um, so okay. that's why I put it there. But so we definitely don't need the town hall columns just because of what Mary said. And the, so the Russell School rules, whether or not we want to leave that there for one year or to pull it, whatever you. So Amy, is Let's it just it. awarding a contract by that date, or the work will be complete? I'm not sure. They just said it would be complete. They made it sound like it would be complete, that they wouldn't need it, but okay. Let's let's leave it there because if they're right. a couple of days late, it doesn't matter. Right. You know, let's just leave it there until next year. And yep. um, if they want to take so, it back, yeah. we're going to meet again in the fall so we can yep. take it back at the special town meeting. Yep. That doesn't matter. Or we could put that in as Amy has it. And when we get to town floor, say we're striking that because they have closed it and, and returned their funds. I mean, there's two different ways to, you know, yep. that would, that would, that would keep us in, keep them in compliance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you could say, yeah, well, I think this is what you said. Put it there with the extension, but if they've completed it, pull it. Right. Okay. Right. Well, we could do that at town meeting floor, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. What do you mean, we? Well, or, or the committee. You. Well, <laughs> me. The select board would we would do that. The town administrator would take it. The town administrator could do that. There's things crossed out all the time yeah. right before you go to town meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, Nidbala is coming a coming along, right? Yeah. Right, Paulette. Yes. And hopefully they won't need it. They they won't need the extension neither. But they might. And so well, let's no. We I would say we need the extension only because it has been delayed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Let me. So the nice thing is, all four of those sound like they're well underway and will be used, yeah. which is good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, do we, the. Yeah, we're saying by the, the end aside, of 2020. The set aside have, have, have already been decided, so we don't have to put those on. Paulette, are you making a motion to the ex to get an extension for that? Yeah, we need APR. a motion to extend these. Yeah. So somebody wants um, to move. Uh, so moved, and to the date, the one year from the date of the annual town meeting when it's approved. So. See, that's where it gets really cumbersome. It's so nice to just say ATM 2022 instead of one year from date of approval. But <laughs> well, no, you just say it's too late, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Paulette made a motion. Do we have a second? I admire your passion, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I that's a Mary. I agree with you. <laughs> Do we have a second to Paulette's motion? Second. Okay, Amy, second. I was wondering if anyone was going to second it. Like, now, oh, this motion is for all of the extensions? Yes. Yes. All but, wait a minute, all but the town hall col oh, um, columns. We're going to strike yeah. that one. Right, right, right. Because that was already approved. Yep. yep. So I wonder if these can be one article in town meeting or whether they, they have are. to all be voted separately. Yeah, they're so, one. We have them as one. We say, okay. it says to see if the town hall will vote to extend the deadline for the Plainville Cemetery Restoration, Old Hadley Cemetery Restoration, Russell School Roof, we'll take out the, and then rest, and the Bala yeah. APR funded by Community Preservation Act funds as follows. Okay. Maybe you could say to see if the town hall will vote to extend the deadline by one year and just have that. Um, yeah. Here instead of the the dead, I don't know. And I think normally this would be individual items, but because the the select board has asked us to condense things I, yes. to keep the town meeting so short. So we could we could say to see if the town will vote to extend the, um, deadline by one the year. deadlines 
for the, the following. following projects by right. one year from the date of the annual town meeting. Yeah. And, yeah. And if anyone argues, you say, well, because of COVID and other conditions, they're underway, but they're not done. Right. Yeah. I mean, these uh, are things that money has already been earmarked for. And I don't see people saying, no, I don't want, I don't want to fix the cemetery. That's know. them, you know, I mean. Paul, it, you made the motion. Who, who made the second? Amy. Amy. Okay. Yep. Okay, um, any other comments about this, uh, uh, the extensions uh, for those articles? Seeing none, um, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor of the extensions, raise your hand. It's unanimous. Yeah. Okay. Um, Edwin, should we look at the cemetery and COVID emergency fund and change that to the from annual town meeting 2023 to one year, two years from the date of approval just to be consistent? You didn't do that? No. No. Oh, Not okay. Yet. okay, so yeah. I'll make a motion. Yeah, let's do that. To an umbrella yes, motion to do to both. To amend the two previously approved um, dates, two projects. Cemetery and COVID emergency. Cemetery fund. and the COVID emergency fund to have the deadline be two years from the date of approval at the 2023 annual town meeting. Well, we, we had the other ones just say from the date of approval. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I'm just was reading what was there. So yeah. two years from the date of approval. That is my motion. I would second it. Okay. Okay, um, that keeps everything uh, kind of aesthetic, right? We need a vote. If it passes. You're right, right, if it passes. Yes, I know that. I know we have to vote on it. And <laughs> we have a motion and a second now. And so uh, is that something you can work on, work with Mary? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay, and we are we are slowly but surely making everything consistent, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember if if Paulette specifically said two years, but whether it's one year or two year, it it's how we word it. Right. 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 Yes. Yes. The it's time period is the date from when it's approved. Right. From date of approval. Two years from date of approval. Okay. Um, seeing no, uh, does anybody else have any comments? Seeing none. All those in favor of that of Paulette's motion. All right. Thank you. Okay. Unanimous. All right. Does anybody? Uh oh, I lost my agenda. That was it. <laughs> uh. Treasurer's report. We did. Reviewing voting on requested by a Okay, now Amy, uh, we, are you going to be able to write these up or give them to uh, town administrator and to put them in the correct form? I, I I made notes, so I think I'm I I will write them up. And usually I double check myself with marked minutes. Yep. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> so. yeah. That that's good. I appreciate that. I my notes have all gone haywire, so. Uh, you shouldn't rely on me to do the notes. Uh, um, okay, does anybody have anything? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of outstanding projects that you can um, claw the money back, which I've done a little research on. I don't know if you want to talk about it now or you've had enough for today. 
uh, and want to do it next time. Why don't we um, just do it now and we'd send go a letter the list. to the treasurer and say yeah. we'd like to take a vote? You want me to um, pull it? Please. I'll share the screen again. Yep. The... I found that extremely helpful. So here's the items here. I put returning money because we had talked about it. Right. So there's the Lake Warner Boardwalk for 1517. Yep. Yeah, so have... that, pro that project is not happening. So okay. all that money can be returned. Right. And there's some leftover money from these three projects, Lake Warner Monitoring. Yes, the mo water monitoring can also be returned. And right. The outdoor, the, outdoor pavilion. Pavilion. the outdoor pavilion, I don't know. I forgot to check on that one. I checked on it. I talked to yeah. the um, Tim Nyhart. He said it's all done. You can return it. Okay. okay. And then more Lake Warner monitoring here. Right. I think that's the, uh, well, that's from 2016. All right. Definitely right. take that one back. Yeah. Yep. Um, and the, um, the windows and the brackets is still outstanding. Um, but they have going, till May 22. Right. They think they're going to put it, uh, they're going to use the brackets to put an uh, overhang in the children's garden at the library. So they're looking into that. Hmm. Okay. Well, Did those. Board of Health spend on the, does anybody know if the Board of Health was doing anything with the water testing? I'm surprised that's not. You know, I asked the treasurer about that because I thought maybe it was in a different category. And she said they actually didn't do any testing. And it might be because they were so busy with COVID, COVID. that yeah. nothing got done. Right. Well, all those one, two, three, all those four things only add up to two thousand dollars, which is right. a lot of money. But two thousand eight. So, in order of to move things along, I will make a motion to send a letter to the treasurer requesting that these funds be returned back since they are past their date. Um, well, actually, May 21. No, we can't do these yet. The well, we can send the letter and then after town meeting, she can just do it since we won't be meeting again. Right. Okay, or if so the projects that, are completed. That, um, all right. So, motion to the treasurer requesting refund of remaining amounts for, of, 15, 17, I can't see what the projects are. 15, 17. Um, sorry, let me, let me do this. Oh. Way too big. Yeah, way too big. Yeah. yeah. I just can't, I just, you need to move it over the other side. Down at the bottom right, there's a little. How's that? Yeah. No, Better. no, no, no. I was looking for what the name of it is on the left hand side. How's that? Yeah, can you slide, um, can can you slide the whole screen to the to the left? Can you make it a little smaller? Yeah. So I can see the A and I think F. I see A when, through N. You do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you know why? Because I have, your screen? I'm I'm looking at everybody on the screen. Ah. I've got everybody like in a column there. All right. So all right, I I cannot see no matter what, I can't see column A. Okay. So, well, I can see Lake well, I got I, well, I I'm, I'm cheating because I'm looking at the same thing that's on the on the screen. Right. Well, let between the document and everybody's picture there are two little bars. You can slide it back and forth. And I already make, did. Oh, that you can and see. And I, I still cannot Ma see. Mary, can you right, slide right there, your right document? There, right there. Nope. Oh, you just had it. <laughs> I didn't move it, so it's it's on your end. <laughs> no, I didn't touch anything. You moved, went up, and then you went down. Because I can't see the amounts on. All right. You know what? Never mind. Let me All just right. pull up the document here. I've got your it here. I'll just pull it up on my screen. Sorry. All right. Yes. So, uh, which ones were it? Lake Warner Boardwalk for 1517 17. Yep. Lake Warner Monitoring for 216 Correct. The Outdoor Pavilion for $127.32. Correct. And the Lake Warner Monitoring, $148.59. Correct. 
that the prod the aforementioned projects have either been completed or gone beyond their two year their time frame. And they all get returned to the general fund. You might want to okay. mention yes to the general the outdoor fund. pavilion in that. Yep. yep. Okay. There's only $127 and it should have been used by May 19. So it just kind of didn't get cleaned up. Okay. Right. So that is my motion. Okay. Is there, do we have a second? Second. Okay. Mary uh, second it. Okay. So Andy, you're, Andy, you're saying that you think it still should go before town meeting, even though all these said they need to be used by this date or it gets returned to the bucket? Um, because that, that, that's how Hadley has always done it. Yeah, so let's, think, say, let's, let's, let's be consistent and do the same thing again. Well, but if it, but that's another warrant town meeting article. And yeah, so? I, I think if we do anything, we put a warrant forward saying that if funds are not expended by or request an extension is requested that they will automatically be returned without having to go before town meeting. Well, it's actually by, returned by a vote from the CPA committee. Right, which I thought is what we're doing right now. Well, the, the, we're it, voting it, on it, these four articles. Right, this, because now- this, Yes, I, 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 agree, I agree with you that that's how it should be, but that's but not that's how it is. Town, Mary said that's what the town treasurer said we needed to do. Well, so if the town treasurer is following protocol, then that is the person who is responsible and bonded to handle the money within the town. Whether or not we have done it and didn't need to do it in the past, I say, let's just move forward with it as the town treasurer says to do it. All right. Cool. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, the thing is it's not, it doesn't get its own article. Um, I mean, it gets mixed in with other things from the town. It has with the consent agenda. With the borrowing. So we borrow for a fire truck and they didn't use the whole amount. It goes back. They, they, they return, don't stop the borrowing. So it gets mixed in to other items. It's not just CPA items, but there's a whole cleanup list that they have for all the different accounts. CPA is just one of them that gets put into the bucket. And whether or not we down the road want to write up something, if you want to write up something, we could put it as a warrant article. But for now, I would say just let the treasurer just handle it, send it back. And if she wants to put it on and, and with a whole bunch of others, so be it. If she doesn't, that's fine too. But yeah. let her feel. Well, a, but we as a committee have to vote on whether to take accept that money, for lack of a better term. And so I that's have what we're doing right now. Right. I've made a motion right. to send a letter to the treasurer for the return of these funds. Right. So we aren't we aren't saying whether it'll be in the warrant or not. The treasurer will decide. So that's well, yeah, and we we can let her know in the letter that the CPA voted to accept their money. Right. Yeah. That's all. It's That's all we're being asked to do. Back. Right. Where we just want to make sure that no one's pulling a fast one and buying a car or something like that. <laughs> we just want to make sure that it, the money is going back to the CPA. So who writes the letter? Uh, I'll write the letter if you need it. Okay. Paulette's going to write a letter yep. to the treasurer. Uh, is yep. it treasurer or tax? Yeah, treasurer. Treasurer. Right. treasurer. Who, who, what's the name of her treasurer right now? Linda Sanderson. Okay, that is Linda. All right. I can never keep track of who's in what position. Okay. Treasurer. Okay. So I made okay. a motion. We have a motion by Paulette and it was seconded by Mary. Does anybody else have any more comments about this? Okay. All those in favor signify by raising their hand. Seven, Unanimous. Zero. Okay.
Very good. Um, where, oh, right here. Any other business? Just a, a question about, um, I know last time after our meetings, I think Amy, somebody contacted a reporter just to have a little blurb in the paper. I think that's a nice thing to do to just mention the projects that um, are coming up. Well, town, they'll be on town meeting, but yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's, but it's, that's, it's that's nice to have idea. it in before town meeting so people- Are, are you volunteering to do that, Edwin? No, you don't. You don't want me talking to a reporter. Me either. <laughs> but so. Uh, well, the warrant goes. I, I don't necessarily. I try to stay away from reporters, but the yeah. warrant will be um, as soon as it starts. As soon as uh, town administrator does something, they'll start to put drafts out, and they'll be on the town website so everybody can see it. But it's often like last time. Andy had talked with a reporter right before, so it came out a few weeks before town meeting. So at least people had an idea they could see. I was just thinking of promoting the CPA, you know, mm -hmm. how the funds are being used. Um, I mean, this, this is great to be putting it towards the, you know, the APR and, and um, the cemeteries and the, the church, um, the emergency fund. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I, I think, Mary, I think you have a very good idea. I don't think you want certain people talking to reporters because I, uh, yeah. me, uh, myself and reporters just don't get along yeah. too well. As chair of the Conservation Commission, if I don't have to talk to them, I don't. Right. How it is. So, Andy, you talked to them last time? You, you called them? Um, no, Scott used to always call me. Oh, Scott Mertzbach, the reporter, and I would fill him in on what the projects were. So he just called you a little bit before town meeting? Um, yeah, usually a few days. You know, he writes an article about oh, what go, going to be the major issues at town meeting, which is in the paper two or three days before. Right. Okay. So I don't All know right. if he'll call me this time, um, but I always told him whatever he wanted to know. I found him to be a pretty good guy and a mm -hmm. decent reporter. Well, if he calls you, do not direct him to Edwin. Please don't. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Would you like to talk to him, Mary? I'd be glad to. Yeah. Okay. So we have a we have a volunteer. Mary will talk to the reporter. <laughs> okay. Does anybody does is there any other business to do with the CPA? The extra banners. You want to deal with the extra banners, which people discussed. We did talk about. Uh, do we want to? Do we need to do a motion or just ask, say that someone will look into? Yeah. Uh, well, I think I think if you're going to spend money out of the uh, executive fund, you should have a vote. You should vote to do it. You know the well, Castro we don't, we don't funds. Know how much you're the... cost. We have to set. Do we? Are we just going to set a blanket yeah. amount to yeah, say you can, you money can... to be taken from the administrative fund? You can do it up to. I will, will make a resolution. motion. Yep. To spend up to five hundred dollars. Um, to get either um, CPA signs, additional CPA signs or and or banners to promote projects funded by the CPA. Denise, okay. did you do it last time? Yeah, I can look into doing this again. Yeah, so up to $500 for uh, additional informational signage, either rigid or fabric. Signs or banners, yep. I think yep. of those Kestrel signs that say forever farmland. Mm -hmm. They're a kind of a nice size on a pole that- um, Yeah, they no, always, we won't, always we won't do a permanent banner, Mary. No, no. no, I don't mean permanent, but I mean size-wise. I think that's kind of a yeah. nice, yeah. when I'm thinking of, like you say, the cemetery, you may not want something really big, but- Right. Um, and the idea would be, it would be up for say six months until the next- During yeah, the project. Or a year. And, to the yep. next projects, right? Yep. You want to keep them. Right. Yeah. Yes. So it, you you get it made out of like that, almost like the plastic um, cardboard kind of corrugated. Like that, the campaign can go, signs, yeah. that can go into the ground, stay there. When the project is done, it can be given back and then can go to the next one as long as they last. Great, or, I'll get a few options. Right. Okay, Denise. 
So where do we want to keep them? So once they give them back, we want to keep them with the with at with in the um, you know um, either with the planning board stuff or maybe we can we don't really have a space in town hall. I mean we can keep them. We have keep them with me. Conscom. We have a small space, but we can put them in the conscom. Yeah. You want to keep right. them there? Okay, that'd be fine. As long as we know where to put when we send them back, where to send them to. Yep. Right. And where is that located, Paulette? Second floor city hall. Okay. Not quite now the we're corner. A city. Wow. Or town hall, sorry. Town <laughs> hall. <laughs> city hall just sounds so more refined, you know, put, but town hall. <laughs> putting on airs. Well, okay. You know, we are happy. Motion? Do we need a motion to do this or we can just do it on I our... made a motion. Okay, so Paulette moved. And it would, we got a second. Second. And that was that was Mary. Yeah, Mary second. Okay. Um Okay, any other comments about this uh, getting uh, that Denise Barstow has very graciously volunteered to look into getting made up? No other comments? All those in favor signify by raising their hand. All right, good Denise, job, thank you, you guys. Denise, do you have your hand up for a reason? No. Uh, I was just supporting. No, no, no. You. Oh, okay. No, I no, thought there was a. <laughs> yeah. I think she was. My hard. my icon just turned. Sorry, that's me. My little arrow just turned to a hand, and I don't know why it turned to a hand. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. Okay. My very bad. Good. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else to add to our meeting? I I do still. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. On the bottom of what I had. I'm going to share it again just because it's easier to do that. Okay. Um, on the bottom down here is, um, let me see, sorry. Are some projects that were worked on in 2020? I, I don't know exactly what goes in the annual report. Um, the report I noticed is for the entire year. It's not split June to June or July 1st to June 30th, but right. I wondered about, again, trying to promote the um, the CPA projects, the money that gets spent. And it might be good to whoever's gonna do that to list you know, some of the things that were done during the year with the CPA funds. Um, just as a suggestion. It all depends how much information you want in the town reports. Well, it wasn't, you know, I, again, I'm not sure what gets done or, or who does it or whatever, but it seemed like, you know, that trying to promote how it is spent, not, you know, not just voting on it, but yes, it did get, you know, these projects did get worked on. Um, mm. Yeah, I have I've, I've mixed feelings about that. I think people in town know what, what we're spending their money on. And um, if you want it, we can find a way to incorporate it into the town reports. I actually don't think that the town reports is a place to put something like that. We ought to, if we're going to put it, let's put it in some place where everybody can see it. Not just the, the select few who happen to read the town reports like me. But, you know, it's just, it should be, if you want it in, we'll figure out a way to put them in. Just a suggestion. I, yep. you know, I think it's good to promote the, you know, how the money is spent and. Oh yeah. Um, well, Mary, do you want a copy of the draft of the report and so you can add stuff? If you want, that'd be great. Um, well, it's not up to me, but. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know so, where it stands or do what we, it is. Do but... we usually have something in the. Oh yeah. Report? Oh yeah, I have it. Uh, uh, is it usually just financials, and it, or you know, is it that dry, or is there some kind of brief? It's a, it's a full page <laughs> of last year's. Oh okay. Yeah. Um, it's got fat. It's got figures. It's got. Um, yeah. Who wrote I, that? I, was I, that you? I, I was volunteering to do a draft. Mary? I did. <laughs> yeah. Andy, you've done a draft. Yes. 
Yes, usually, I mean, you can say whatever you want, but right. usually it's um, uh, the financials, uh, what projects were passed by town meeting, um, uh, changes in committee membership, and then special thanks for people who've shepherded particular projects. Right. Special uh, thanks. I have a. I do have a copy of it. There, there is a draft that I probably don't have with me right this moment. Um, Special thanks to. Oh, I do have there. I do have it. This is a this. I do have a draft proposal that would go into the town reports. Oh. And it's just uh, what we spent on uh, on the annual town meeting on June 20th, uh, Article 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, and those passed. Uh, Article 15 failed, and there is uh, a, a sentence that says no projects were voted on during the special town meeting of 1114 because of a lack of a quorum. So it's just what happened last year, that's all. And um, we, we mentioned the uh, people who got, uh, we're gonna mention Joe, Joe Zagrodnik and Willie Danlinko who are no longer on the committee. And we thank Mark Dunn for his uh, uh, service. I would. David I would. Moskin and. I would hope that there's at least a sentence or two thanking uh, Andy for his years of there is. despite yep. his unceremonious dumping. Right. Well, and, and there's a sentence in there. We're probably going to add it. Continued in. commitment, uh, pro bono. Yes, it's continued support is much appreciated. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll 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 type up something or I'll I'll get something out. And uh, if, if it's okay with the committee, it's usually been the chairman's job in the past. So I'll just, I'll just do it. And uh, we'll see what uh, mention Andy again. We just don't want you in hot water with Mrs. Matusko. No, uh, she <laughs> doesn't matter. She doesn't read the report. He's got another meeting tomorrow night. So <clears throat> yeah, he was, I recall he was like, Kicking and screaming, we dragged him into being the, the chair. So yeah, you did, and you know. <laughs> Amy, Amy agreed to be co. Yeah, so yeah. Amy that, agreed that to be co. That softened the blow a little. <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> Thank bit. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> yes. Well, I as just as an aside, I think that we have a very, 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 very good committee in town, and usually, and Andy can attest to this. It usually ends up being a nine-member committee of one. And I just, sometimes I feel that I don't put the time involved that I need to put into it, but I'll, I will do my best. I'm getting better at it. So. You're doing a fine job, Edwin. Does anybody else? I just have too many papers and too many different I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Oh, our, next, can... our next meeting will be in like August or something. Yeah, our <laughs> next meeting, the Board of Selectmen in its infinite wisdom has decided that they're going to close the warrant the first week of February or something like that. We have some placeholders available for them. And, um, and then we're usually the one of the first people who uh, get, get our act together. So yes, we will have another meeting the beginning of August, sometime in around there, because we usually have a special town meeting in the fall sometime and we'll I realize that this right now was kind of a little sketchy but given COVID and everything like that it just was it was just very very difficult to concentrate on so we'll get together and I'll uh whoops uh oh shit I did oh sorry <laughs> I, did, I did something I shouldn't have uh, but, okay. okay I made a motion Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning? <laughs> See y'all. Thank you very much. Good work, Edwin. Yeah, I'm trying. Thank you.